Click Clack Surprise by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. It is a very big day on the farm. A cake is baking, streamers are streaming, mice are floating past the window. The invitations have been delivered. You are invited to Little Duck's birthday party under the maple tree. Cake, games, prizes. Pin the tail on the donkey. Cancelled by donkey. Duck, duck, goose. Cancelled by goose. Steal the bacon. Cancelled by anonymous request. Everybody wants to look their best for Little Duck's party. Duck takes a long, hot bubble bath to look his best. He rub a dubs, rub a dubs, rub a dubs clean, and walks on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then rub a dubs too. The sheep need a trim to look their best. They snippety clip, snippety clip, snippety clip clean, and walk on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then snippety clips too. The cat wants to look her best. She slurp alerps, slurp alerps, slurp alerps clean, and walks on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then slurp alerps too. The chickens take a dust bath to look their best. They shimmy shake, shimmy shake, shimmy shake clean, and walk on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then shimmy shakes too. The pigs need a mud bath to feel their best. They squish and squash, squish and squash, squish and squash clean, and walk on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then squishes and squashes too. The cows like themselves just the way they are. No rub-a-dubbing, no snippety-clipping, no slurp-a-lurping, no shimmy-shaking, no squish and squashing. They walk on over to the maple tree. Farmer Brown frosts the cake, lights the candles, puts on his best hat, and walks on over to the maple tree. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to... Ew! A birthday surprise for everyone under the maple tree. Don't Wake Up the Tiger by Britta Teckentrup. Shh! Tiger is fast asleep and we shouldn't wake her up. <laughs> but she's in the way. Whatever will the other animals do? They're in a hurry and they've got a big bunch of balloons to carry too. Oh dear. How will they get past without waking her up? Luckily, Frog has a very good idea. Frog is using his balloon to float over Tiger. Can you help make sure Tiger stays asleep? Swoosh! Let's pet her nose. That always works. Oh, good. Tiger is still sound asleep. Now it's Fox's turn. But look, Fox is too heavy for his balloon, and the balloon is dropping lower and lower. Blow, blow as hard as you can. <laughs> Fox made it across. Good job. It's Tortoise's turn now. He's looking a bit worried because Tiger is waking up. Let's pet Tiger's tummy. There, nice and gentle. That will help her sleep. Yay! Tortoise got across. He couldn't have done it without you. 
But now it's Mouse's turn, and she's shaking so much that she lets go of her balloon. Oh no, she's falling right onto Tiger's head. Quick, let's sing a lullaby. And can you rock the book too? Everyone knows that tigers love to be rocked to sleep. Phew, that was close, wasn't it? Stork is the last animal to cross. She can step over Tiger with her long legs. But be careful, Stork. Watch out for the balloon. Pop! Oh dear, Tiger is wide awake. That means it's time for... Her surprise birthday party. Happy birthday, Tiger. Can you wish her a happy birthday too? There's a Dragon in Your Book by Tom Fletcher. Oh look, there's an egg in your book. It looks ready to hatch. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. I can't believe you did that. The egg hatched and now there's a dragon in your book. Don't be scared, it's a baby dragon. Go ahead and tickle her little nose. Ah-choo! Oops. The dragon accidentally sneezed a fire in your book. We need to put it out quickly. Help dragon blow out the flame and turn the page. Oh no, your dragon didn't blow out the fire. She blew more fire. Carefully cover the flames by turning the page and tamp it down. That should put them out. It didn't work. They're getting bigger. Don't get too close. If only we could think of a way to put out this fire. That's it. Let's use your imagination to put out the fire. Imagine a great big water balloon right in the middle of the next page. Make sure it's full and ready to pop. Perfect. Now use your finger to pop the balloon and get ready for the... Splash! Hooray! You put out the fire. Give the dragon a high five. You have a great imagination, and Dragon must be a little hungry now. Why don't you use your imagination again and think of a yummy treat for her? How about a triple scoop of yummy, ice-cold chocolate and strawberry ice cream with sprinkles? Wow, that looks delicious. Yum. Well. Dragon must be tired after all that adventure. I think it's time for her to fly home. She's probably very full. She's going to need some help taking off. Flap the book up and down like giant dragon wings. Almost there. Keep flapping. There she goes. Goodbye, dragon. Wave goodbye and turn the... Hang on a second. What's this? Oh, look! More eggs! Whatever you do, don't turn the page. Uh-oh. I think it's time to close the book. Carefully. <laughs>